Third time's a charm. Okay. Hi. No. Hi. No. Can somebody just write me an intro? That'd be great. And I'll practice it. And it'd be wonderful. And I'm out of coffee. All right. <coughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm Nicole Danielle. If you're new here, um, welcome to my channel. I am a homeschool mama to three boys. I have one in college. Is it is it really I'm a homeschool mom to three boys? Technically, I did homeschool him. I have one in college. I have one in 10th grade, one in 5th grade. All boys. Love what I do. Um, so I share homeschool content and I share faith content and life updates and if you like that sort of thing go ahead click the like button subscribe to my channel and we're gonna go ahead and jump into the topic of the day I just hopefully it's brief <clears throat> I'm just gonna share our first week with you so just sharing our first week with you this is gonna be everywhere I can already see it we um, overall had a great week. The boys seriously impressed me. I can see their growth. I can see their maturity. Um, 10th grade and 5th grade I think is going to go wonderfully. I made a new type of schedule. I have always been against or anti or I, I've never tried it. So point number one, if you've never tried something, don't say you don't like it. Don't say it won't work for you because it might be your very best friend. We have a new schedule. I have it by hours. Never have I ever done this because I was like, that's going to be too regimented for us and we're not going to like that. It's beautiful. It is incredible. My boys thrive with this schedule. At 8 o'clock, this happens. At 9 o'clock, this happens. At 10 o'clock, like, and we're changing classes. My little one is like, will you stop saying we're changing classes because we're not going anywhere. I'm like, well, I mean, you're changing books. Even if we're not done, and there's so much freedom for my, he is thriving. And it's only week one. My high schooler, he's just getting it done and staying focused. And he knows that it's only going to last this amount of time. And then he can put it away no matter if he's done or not. And he is thriving. Okay. So that's that. Um, they, I shared with you my binder. I love my little, my little teacher book. Um, and that's keeping, we all individually have our own schedules posted for us in our little notebooks. Um, I think that's the key. I think the schedule is the key. Um, our Bible curriculum, the Foundations Press Bible curriculum is... I can't say it's a lot of fun, but we're enjoying it. And I like that they do Bible drill two days a week. However, we did it three days. Did we do it two days a week? I feel like, yes, we did because we only did, whoop, we only did a four day week because I was busy Monday and it was Labor Day. Um, so we do Bible drill and we're memorizing the books, the Bible in order. Um, we're memorizing a verse. I cannot tell you what it is. So they've written it twice and we say it every day and um, then we read a chapter and we discuss. Love that. Um, we, um, Campfire Curriculum, our science unit has been a lot of fun this week. We made, the kids cooked dinner. They cooked curry chicken. That was a blast. We have done fruit infusions delicious. I'm actually drinking one right now. It's not with me. It's right over there. Um, and what else did we make this week for science? Smoothies, uh, with turmeric and pepper and all kinds of other stuff. We learned about turmeric this week and how it needs like pepper and fats in order for your body to absorb it. None of us really enjoyed our smoothie that we drank the first day. 
um, I'm allergic to pepper and I put it in there anyway. I was like, wow, this is spicy. I drank like a quarter of my smoothie and then dumped it. I know, shame on me. Um, the boys drank theirs. They're just like, I don't like this or I don't like that or I'll try this differently. There was a turmeric latte in there, which I tried, which I promptly did not like. Um, something about putting like spices in your coffee and then stirring it up, it makes it kind of like slimy and gritty. I don't like that. Um, what else did we make? I feel like there was one more thing that we made that it was, it was almost hands-on every single day which was incredible. And next week we're looking forward to like pomegranates making, um, we're going to forage next week. We're going to use a mortar and a pestle to make, um, something. I'm sorry. It's been a lot of fun. My high schooler, um, I'm making my own quizzes and I'm going to make a test out of each unit. So once I get to that point, I will share with you guys what I've done. Um, I don't know how to provide them for you. I do have a blog. I wonder if I can post them on a blog. If you guys have any idea how I can do that, um, let me know in the comments below. That would be super helpful for me because I've never actually done that. And um, so I will be doing quizzes. I'm thinking since it's a four week thing, I'll do week two quiz, week three quiz, and a week four test is probably what I'll end up doing. And that way I have some good grades because of course he has the participation grades. This is, I'm talking 10th grade. He's got his participation grades. He has his labs technically. Um, I'm counting it as labs. They're making dinner again next week, which is going to be chicken noodle soup. And, um, and then, um, little like narrations and discussion questions and things like that. You can count all that. What else? Um, our history, we're doing the indigenous people's history from gather round. Um, that was a lot of fun this week. We learned about, um, some different people groups and the, she pulled in the tower of Babel and possibly those people being, because God, of course, says that everybody was there and then the Tower of Babel happened and he split everybody up. And um, we talked about the Berean, Berean Strait, the Bering Strait. Wow, Nicole. <laughs> I just, okay, it doesn't matter. The Bering Strait Land Bridge. And so we looked at that and where that would be and how closely connected our continent is with other continents. And it's just really, really cool. Um, so we did some mapping stuff and some note taking and um, lots of discussion. We read the Legend of the Indian Paintbrush, which is just a kid's picture book. Uh, whatever. My my youngest, my fifth grader, was like, "No, that didn't happen." I was like, "No, it's just magic. It's fine." Had a good discussion over it. Um. They started their unit project. Um, my 10th grader chose to put a poster together. So he's doing a little, he's doing it on, he's doing it on our Mac. And so he's pulling pictures from the internet and writing about those underneath those pictures. And it won't be full poster size, but it's a little bit of, it's something, right? To show that we did the indigenous people unit. Um, I'm not having him write a paper with this one because he is currently writing a research paper with our science, our campfire curriculum. Um, with his English unit, he's doing, he's doing, I not unit, with his English literature stuff, he's reading books, he's doing IEW, learning how to write papers better, and he's doing the good and the beautiful, uh, we're still in level one. And so I told him that he's going to be writing papers this year, however, we're going to choose which paper we're writing at the same time. I'm not going to have him writing a paper out of history and science and English because they they each do require their own separate things. So for his English unit, he has um, his poem that he has to write this unit and his map skills. And uh, it's going great. We're loving it. And Fluence is awesome. It's so cool. 
they just jump right into it. The first couple of days, the first day he was like, oh, I know this. Oh, I know this because he's been doing the Duolingo over the summer. And then he started getting frustrated. He's like, they don't talk like Duolingo. Is this formal or informal or what's happening? This is ridiculous. Is there a different, you know, is there a different thing that I can do through Fluens? But then by day three, he was like, I like this. This is working. I understand it. He's writing full sentences. He's under, he, he was like, I understand German. Ha <laughs> ha. It's so funny. It was so funny. So that is working out really well. It was expensive, but it's worth it. Um, week one, you're, you already understand, like, how to split, I mean, you're already understanding it. And so I took Spanish in high school and I have always just spoken like random words to my children in Spanish, like, thank you. And good morning and you know, little random things. And so I told him that I would try really hard to start transitioning over into German, like Guten Tag and um, I forgot, thank you. But um, so we're gonna transition over and I'm going to hopefully start incorporating some German words into our daily dialogue. Um, uh, his math. So he is doing, uh, my little one's doing Spanish. I know this is a, a whole full week overview. My little one is doing sing song Spanish. One, still going wonderful. Uh, we love sing song Spanish. And then we'll, he's almost done with this book and we're going to transition into sing song level two. If you've been around for any number of weeks, you understand that our last, last year was horrible. And I'm proud of my children for their accomplishments that they, they pushed out. So we're almost done with that book. We love sing song Spanish. We, it comes with um, flashcards and we play like go fish with them and memory work and things like that. I also downloaded from Thistle and Biscuits, the Spanish and the German flashcards through them. They're beautiful and we'll incorporate that somehow. Um, for my fifth grader for his language arts, we have still not gotten our curriculum in. So he has been doing Night Zookeeper. We are loving Night Zookeeper. I am in the process of getting all of his papers um, printed out so we can turn that into like an editing project and he can learn how to edit and we can save those papers inside of his yearly binder. Um, and then he will eventually do IEW level A. We're still waiting on that. So for math, uh, my 10th grader is using Shorman Algebra 1 and Geometry. And the first day is awful. Like he was, he was like, this is ridiculous. You know, like, when are we going to get to math? I just want to do, you know, whatever. Um, he was struggling really hard because it's all about like how... Um, God created math and you see math every day and he's like this is ridiculous and then the guy like uh, the moment it came out of his mouth the man was like I realize that you probably want to get into math and you're wondering why blah 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 so that was really funny I really like the instructor he's witty um he's funny he keeps their attention and um he's done so the first first day was no lesson maybe it was Maybe there was like a couple of questions that they had to answer, but so far he's gotten like 90 and above on his lessons and he gets it done within the hour. He has an hour time frame slot and so far you, they have to read something and then they have to watch the instructional video and then they do their problem set. Um, I think on day four, they, he actually had a time period where he had to do his flashcards. And if I'm not mistaken, it took him about an hour and 15 minutes to do lesson four. So, um, I have told him that it might, we might have to wiggle around his schedule a little bit more to allow him a little bit more time for math. Um, because they incorporate, the Shorman math incorporates studying into daily work and then, um, also, I thought it was really cool the the way the parent stuff is set up. You read through it, 
and watch the same video that your kids watch on the introductory video. Um, but they were saying how each and every single lesson has a question from the ACT SAT. So they are learning, they are studying for their ACT SAT tests all the way through. Um, and then, and then he just has reading. We have not purchased his business class yet. I'm going to get that done and he'll, I'll introduce his Monarch business class to him next week. And then just, you know, our readings that he does um, through Ambleside. If you watched any of my other videos, you'll know what readings he has to do. And that's going really well. They just narrate to me at the end of the day. Read, narrate, read, narrate. Um, and my little one for math has still not received his books yet. That's coming next week. Um, and so we've just been using an Usborne Fractions and Decimals um, book, which has been a lot of fun. He's really, he's really enjoying that. So, overall, I mean, the kids were great. Their attitudes are mostly okay. Um, Caleb still thinks, Caleb, oh, sorry, you don't know who Caleb is. My 10th grader still thinks that uh, science is pointless and this is whatever and why do we have to learn this? So, hopefully by the end of this year, he'll understand that science is important and he'll enjoy it. I've got the... I've got some good things planned, um, and um, I'm going to get an unboxing video up for you guys whenever it, they sh start showing up, Wednesday, Thursday, I'm not sure, um, what else happened? Oh, that's what I was talking about, um, so their attitudes have been really good, um, but like, honestly, Day one, like, we didn't start on time, and I was frustrated. And then day two, we didn't start on time. And I was like, something's got to give. This is, this is getting insane. And our Bible time is getting, you know, cut into. And day three, I just, I just started with tears. Just some relational stuff going on. And I was in tears, and I, it was awful. But the rest of the day went really, really, really well. And then um, Friday, they blew me out of the water. I was really impressed by them and their diligence and their work ethic. And um, I work outside of the home on Fridays uh, just for a few hours. And um, I could take them with me if they wanted to go, but they don't want to go. And so Friday, I was like, okay, this is your list of things that you have to do. This is your trial run. If you do not do all of these things, that are supposed to get done before I get home, you will be going with me next Friday. This is your only chance. And I got home earlier than I expected to get home and they had everything done. And I was like, bravo, good job. And very impressed by their attitudes. I'm, I'm very impressed by the little humans, the little, the little adults they're becoming. So that is all I have to share with you guys. That was our week one. Oh, I have not done back to school pictures yet. So I need to get those done. And uh, uh, my college kid is doing great. He is doing great. Um, just leaning into all these new relationships. He's Last night, he was hanging out with all of the music majors. And they were playing games or whatever. And bless it. He's like, this is definitely a life, a lifetime experience, like a once in a lifetime experience. And he's so glad that he's there. And I am so glad that he's there. And academically, he's doing fine. Um, and he's in a New Testament class right now, which is really like, he's, he's like, this is dumb, but it's okay. And, you know, we're encouraging him along the way. It's like, just answer the questions, just, you know, smile and nod, just whatever, grit your teeth and get through it. And, and my husband and I really try to encourage him, you know, to, to, to ingest the good, you know, to, to what, what is it? Chew up the meat and spit out the bones. Like there's something good that you can find everywhere. And even in silly books that you're reading or things that you don't agree with, you can still pull out of a book, you know, Jesus is good, you know, Jesus is Lord. And you can agree with that, you know? So 
that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for clicking the button. Um, I can t I will continue sharing this stuff with you guys. I'll be willing. I will see y'all um, probably sooner than next week because I will get those unboxing videos posted. And that way we can kind of stay up to date. Um, and, and yes, if you do know how I can get quizzes and tests that I create to you, um, if you're interested in stuff like that, if you have any idea how I can do that, go ahead and let me know um, to get some high school credit going. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for being here. It's good to see you again. Uh, I'll willing, I will see y'all next week. Bye for now. I'm allergic to oats. My favorite coffee creamer is the Kroger brand Caramel Simply True Simple Truth Oat Milk Creamer. Somebody needs to slap me because it makes me so snotty. I need to stop. I really do. But I'm allergic to everything. And there you go. Mm -hmm.